Let's see what the state of HeliCycle is right now. From what I understand, you guys are getting ready to pump up the door again. Well, we've been, uh, uh, we actually have been uh, in kit production since 2021. Right. We restarted kit production there. We acquired the company in 2019, and we've been shipping kits ever since. One of the big things that we've done over the last two years has been to continue to refine not necessarily design, but process and materials so that we weren't necessarily impacting the performance or strength of a particular part, but making them easier to manufacture, stronger, faster, and a much better product uh, going out the door. We've been selling kits here at the show, which is kind of surprising to us. So uh, we're happy about that. What are they going for these days? At Oshkosh this year, um, we are using 2022 Oshkosh pricing, 72K uh, with the engine. Uh, to that, you're going to need to add uh, instruments, avionics, uh, paint, upholstery, you know, typical building materials. You're flying out the door at, you know, 82 to 85 if you don't get crazy in the panel. Okay. Interesting. What's build time now? So the, the build time for the basic kit is pretty much unchanged. Plan on about 450 hours with our standard kit. If you've got some experience, you're going to cut that uh, way down because you don't have to figure out how to measure to drill a hole. Our build instructions are a combination of videos, drawings, and written materials. And then we also have an absolutely fabulous builders forum. It's actually administrated by the builders. We have a fast build kit that uh, will cut about 100 hours off that build time. And uh, we also have a builder's assist program uh, if you want to come down to the factory and, and get, the, uh, get the basic structure together and get it ready. What do those programs run? It depends on what you want to, you know, how much you want to accomplish. And, and we can do as much or as little. Uh, we work with uh, three other organizations that likewise will do as much or as little as you want them to do. That's between the two of you and, and the FAA. What is it that you think makes the HeliCycle such a popular proposition right now? Why did it last when so many other home-built helicopters kind of fell by the wayside or, or worse? Well, I, I think part of it is part of our core mission that goes back even to B.J. Schramm, uh, who designed this. And that is the goal was to have a helicopter that was first and foremost safe, and secondly, affordable, and have uh, high performance so that uh, you could do things with it that were practical other than turn gasoline into noise. And I think those things have helped it have legs that, that, that maybe others don't. It's got way more performance than the ship needs, and that allows you to do things with it that uh, you probably can't with some of the others that are out there and we've got so much reserve power in the engine that we can lift heavy loads. I've got a cargo hook under mine so I can actually long line with it. That I gotta see. Uh, not real heavy but I've lifted 300 pounds with it. Try that with your two cycle yeah. weed whacker helicopter. <laughs> That's amazing. We thank you much for your time with Airborne Aero TV and somewhere down the line it's been years and years and years since I played with one of these we need to get together and go fly. Yeah absolutely.